Welcome everyone to the Kellenberg's Robotics second video editing log for January. I hope you all had a great December break. I know I did, and I actually took a couple of these screen captures over the break to share with you in this video. In today's video, we'll be going over a few tips and tricks on how to enhance your video editing skills, uh, some of which will be going over speed duration, audio editing, transitions, and much more. I have two clips here that I want to compare. One clip is the Rainbow Six Siege sniper shot that I took with Callie the Operator, and another one is me sniping in Borderlands 2, a game I got for free on the Epic Games Store a while back. The eye lets you see different tracks, so the track that is on top will be the first scene, and to unsee it and see the track under it, you just toggle the eye. I already edited the audio to decrease the volume, something that I already taught you in the previous video. And I actually added some music from Coconut Mall Mario Kart Wii, but I haven't done anything in terms of editing for the final product. My end goal here is to get a clip of around 10 seconds long comparing the two sniper shots, which one is better, and having some comedic effect with the music and sound effects. So right there I get a headshot, get the kill, and the music doesn't quite line up, but... I want the video to match the music because the music is going to be pushing through. So what I'm going to do, and first what I want to remind you is any capture, uh, screen capture that you take may not always be 1920 by 1080 so if it's not go up to file project settings and make sure that the width and height is 1920 by 1080. So first of all, let's get a fade in. So what you can do is go under effects, scroll down to transitions in video, dissolve, and cross dissolve if you pull that over will get a nice fade in effect to the start of your video. Let's make it so that way it's more interesting to watch. I was thinking maybe as it transitions in, I want to have the screen rotate 360 degrees to this point. So I'm gonna go into controls. I'm gonna toggle the rotation uh, right there. And that's going to be one time at 360. We're going to scroll to the beginning and we're going to make that one back to a zero. So at this point, it should spin once. But that doesn't really look too good because you see the black lines around it. So we want to find back to where the keyframe was. And we're actually going to toggle the scale as well. Um, so this is the scale that we want it to be at. We want to find it, let's say, at the 90 degrees here so that the vertical fills in a little bit more. We're going to shift and then hold the left cursor and drag to get there. Then we're gonna go back to a upside down position. Maybe let's say right here, scroll down till it, no black lines are really shown. Here we're going to do again, stretch it out. And back to the beginning, we're gonna make sure it's transform fit the frame because we want it to be matched. Uh, however, it is still not that clean. Um, so I'll go back and fix that, but for now we'll stick with that. So now I want to slow down video so that it matches more with the audio. So we're actually going to do a slow zoom effect as she shoots. So right here I'm going to cut it so that way the transformations are saved with the last clip and we can actually toggle off these so we don't get confused. We're going to turn back on the music audio we're gonna hear and try and match it up. So right there, we'll clip that. And what we're gonna do is take this and we're gonna speed duration it. So it's 100% right now. And if we make it, let's say 50%, it will make the video two times slower. And at the end, let's make it seem like if people don't understand what Rainbow Six Siege is all about, and they didn't realize that I got the kill. Let's zoom in on the fact that the right top corner specifies that I got a kill on that guy. Let's get the scale to be toggled. But this time we want the position to be not the center anymore, but up here. So we're going to toggle position as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick position, let's say right here, onto this part of the screen. I'm going to zoom in, drag over. Let's get the whole thing in frame. And that should be good. So let's put this afterwards. And actually, why don't I 
cross dissolve into this clip. That would be nice. All right, so that's, you know, uh, pretty slow. Let's uh, make the speed duration 200%. Okay, I'm gonna cut it right there. And the audio, because I sped it up, also happened to speed up. So let's unlink this section and delete the audio because it doesn't sound too good. All right, now let's say we want to compare it side by side. We want to actually mask this. So what we're gonna do is you, you're gonna be on the cursor here and you're gonna click on this pen icon. And what we actually want to do is make four points. To make these dots, you control click, and then you can just drag them out. You right click to drag across the screen, and you basically just masked out the center of the video. Now what you can do is with the cursor, you can drag it over to this side, and you can do the same thing with the other video. And actually, if you don't like your mask, you can always go back and adjust it in your controls. And now you have it side to side. Let's do the cross dissolve on both of these so it looks synchronized. So let's say you wanted to add a sound effect, then let's insert a new track. When the headshot happens, let's say we want the Wii guy to say nice shot. Um, so what I have here is a video of on YouTube saying nice shot, but I only want the audio. So you unlink uh, and delete the video portion. Take the audio and line it up with the shot. Other transitions can also be found in the video. So there's not only dissolve, but there's motion transition, uh, push or slide and zoom transition, as well as wipe. And then of course there's audio transition uh, for crossfade and fade. Um, fade is for the end or the beginning and crossfade is to mix two audio links together to make them sound good. Uh, and maybe we'll come across that in the next video. If you have any questions concerning the editing phase, you can always ask them in the comments or on Discord, and I will be happy to answer them. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you play Rainbow Six Siege or Borderlands 2 down in the comments below, and nice I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.